Okay, folks, so this is the, um, uh, the development that they're asking you to do as a half development in the back of the book, or one of them. Um, the first thing that you need to um, get your head around is that um, you're looking in the top of this object. Now, when I first looked at this object, I thought that this was the top and that these lines were on the top, and I couldn't understand um, why, when you look at this from this side here, why it doesn't look, um, you know, like it's got, you know, sort of this sort of thing happening, okay? Because I was looking at that line there. Now, the, the reason why that was happening was because I was imagining this actually coming up towards me, okay? If you make that mistake, you'll sit here for hours wondering what the hell's going on. Just remember, this is an object that you're looking down into, okay? So, um, these two faces here, uh, one of them, this front face, um, is going to be... Uh, slanting this way I think and this one's going to be slanting this way and these two side pieces um, this side is going this way and this side is going sort of slanting this way okay and the reason why we know that is because when you look down into this hopper these this, this base here the bottom of it you can see it's a solid line until it gets to here because because this face is slanting over it's covering the rest of these lines okay so anything that's obscured becomes a dotted line. So for a while there I was thinking that all of these lines were supposed to be dotted, but you see that as a solid line because that's your base that you're looking down into, okay? And you can see the bottom. You can see where both of these sides meet with the bottom of this hopper, okay? So you think about you could like pour stuff into this hopper, okay? That's the first thing you need to get your head around. So you can see now that from the top view to the side view, you can drop down lines, okay, construction lines, to tell you that that's how they've done this projection. If you drop a line down, um, and let's do this like we're real technical drawers. Um, if you draw, drop a line down from this side here vertically, you can see that all of these lines line up nicely. Okay, so that's how they do that projection. Okay, so we've got top view here. I'm going to label it top and we've got a side view and from this we're going to create our um, our half development so the transition piece if we're going to do a half development we are going to create a line that goes across this way so you want to get your center point so um, probably the easiest way of doing that is um, and I wish I'd made myself more room in here but it's complete mayhem in this studio um, we've got to about two and a half centimeters, okay, so 25 mil, so about 12 and a half mil is, is your center, okay, so there it is there, and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna cheat, you really should measure it, but I'm just gonna be a little bit cheeky here and draw a line here and a line here, okay, we don't go all the way across because that's an opening, okay, these two sides are sloping in and this is the opening, so we can't go all the way across, Okay, so that's our um, that's our uh, our seam essentially. So now what we need to do is we need to start the labeling process. So I'm going to start over here and go counterclockwise, and I'm going to go. This is A, okay. This is B corner B. This is corner C, and this is corner D. And then what I'm going to do is once I've done that on this middle bit okay which is what they do on the other example in the book as well so i'm kind of monkey seeing monkey doing at the moment um, then what you do is you go uh, we're going to go uh, counterclockwise as well um we're actually yeah counterclockwise i'm going to make this number one number two number three and number four now you're going to have to do a number of these um setups that you do to get to the point where you're kind of um, comfortable doing this labeling bit. But remember that you shouldn't have more than um, one number or one letter where things are coming together, okay? If you've got more than one sitting there, you've, you've gone haywire, okay? So looking at this, um, now you need to imagine if we took this whole thing and we flipped it up so we were looking at the side, we know that um, the bottom of this particular shape will either be a one, at the back of this shape or a two at the front so we know that down here we've got either one and I'll just move my camera so you can see it you've got a one or a two here and then up here you've either got a C or a D 
And then over here, down the bottom, we've got our um, three and four. Three and four, when you flip it up. And this is going to take a little while to get used to, I promise you, it's because um, you're actually flipping this whole shape up. And then you've got an A and a B, okay? It is um, a little bit of a, a, a mind-altering experience getting this down. Okay, but we will be able to do it. We'll give it a try anyway. Okay, so once we've done that, what we need to do is we transfer a couple of lines across, okay? Because this is what we need to do to, to make any lines that are not um, real lengths into real lengths, okay? So I'm just gonna move my camera over a little bit so we can get the whole lot in. So we draw a line across there, and a line across here, and then if we wanna make sure that we've got a nice um, 90 degree angle, we, we do this to make it 90 degrees. Now this is what we're going to transfer um, any lengths that are not real onto the surface. Now we know, like I said, that this plane over here is inclined this way. Okay, this way? Because um, we've got these dotted lines here. Okay, so we know that it's an inclined plane. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to triangulate that plane from 1 to C. And you'll see in a moment why we need to do that triangulation. Probably in like an hour or so. Um, I'm going to try and keep these videos down to about 15 minutes and so you might, there might be a part one, a part two, a part three, etc, etc because uploading them to YouTube will take three and a half years. And on the same on this side, incline plane and I'm going to make that into line um, 4B as well. And then the only other one that we've got here is this bottom plane here which we know um, is, is inclining sort of towards us. Okay, so what we need to do there is we're going to make a 2B triangulation. So we're triangulating inclined planes in the part of the half transition that the, the planes are actually in, inclined. Okay, so that's how we get our triangulations done. And then what we're going to do is um, we're going to um, do a few of those lines that we don't know. And as you start your, um, your drawing um, of the actual transition piece, Quite often, um, you end up uh, having to um, add some lengths here that you might not know, okay? Because there's a bit of a process of, um, you know, trial and error, essentially. So you start with, um, when you're going to do your, your view, one of the th first things you do is you start with one side, okay? So I'm going to start with this side here, 1D, okay? Now... We know 1D is actually um, a, a true length. Um, and we know it's a true length um, because it's, um, it's perpendicular to the viewer. Okay, so 1D is our, is our true length. 